okay the next thing is let's get a tool on board right here let's put a tool there okay, let's come to toolbox right there okay double click on that and and there we go we have our tool on board okay as you can see all my tools now have icon to get those icon on board wait a minute let me get this back yes just to get my property back to get those icon on board all you just need to do is make sure it's selected or if it's uh, select the object there select the button and right here come right down you see where it says image right here select the image click and import depend on what other component you want to import okay so let's say I want the print I can always click on print or maybe undo no we do so you just select anyone that you want let's say I want the print okay click on open and right here import that's a print so that's how it's done okay the next thing is you double click on this and enter the following lines of codes right here from here take it down up to here okay now you double click on let's double click on save and right here those are the lines of code for save cut lines of code for cut copy the lines of code for copy paste right there okay we have bold and that is bold right here let's move it up a bit from here to here those are the lines of code for bold italic bring it down that is italic underline lines of code for underline and a line left that is the line of code for a line left a line right okay a line center actually that's it right there and a line right right here then finally it's going to be the clear button I have a delete icon there that's it alright why this one that I entered last I just delete that I don't need it okay so that is that taken care of if we run it let's run it and see how it will look like okay this is how the whole system looks like now so we have the this one working the calculator but let's come in here first we can open this and open anything in there we can select it all make that italic on the line we can cut and we can come right down here and just paste it there okay we're gonna align left align center align right bold on the line okay and we can also save and we can clear so that's how this toolkit here works and right here I have a 
have a rich text box to support those tools okay the next thing is maybe we should increase this font let's come the come here and just make that maybe about 60 right make that 60 that I should do for the font itself let's take it back up and see what we've done so far okay, let's open it up a little bit and do that that's too much okay the next thing is let's have a look at the calculator with the calculator I've selected all of the numbers and group them as one using the events right here and the name is called button click so when you double click on that it takes you straight into the codes that are used for the calculator okay so you can see there's a method there with a sender okay if the button equals zero and I select any of the or any of the button whatever I selected is then passed on here and if I keep selecting the same thing happens so if I click on six that will be six 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 or seven 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 okay that is for the buttons and here uh, is the line of code just to play it you can see btn play now I have the backspace these are the lines of code for the backspace and right here have the codes for the arithmetic operator in the case of arithmetic operator if you come here I had to group all of the arithmetic op uh, operators together come straight into the event and assign a name for it and the name I've assigned is arithmetic op ops not operator ops and I've just declared my method there then here is my variable whatever uh, is entered into the text box is assigned to the variable but before I continue with this let me show you the variable right up here here are the variables for the calculator and here are the variables for the currency converter right here I have my array that I'll be using later on okay so when you double click on this you enter this line of code for the operators all of the operators now for the equals here are the line of code for the equals if you're wondering which of the component is called lbl display LB, lbl show ops lbl show ops is right here okay and this one is lbl display show ops display okay and here are the lines of codes that we use for that and if you want to know how to develop a calculator i have a tutorial on that that's why i just i'm rushing through this one those are the lines of code using switch statement next the next thing is this very button right there let's click on that and just copy this okay that's a button and here I also have some other buttons there. I have two buttons, one for the conversion rate. Right there. Those are the lines of code for conversion. Okay. Now finally right here. Those are the lines of code for the conversion. And here has to close that so double click on that and make that visible equals true it's not false it's true right there okay so if I come here move this back and if you want to know about currency converter I have tutorial on that as well on YouTube so if I click on the currency converter, I can always then enter whatever currency I like to convert. That is it. Click on it close. All right. So that is fine, but there's something. Let's see. That is the currency converter here, but I was meant to add. Let's see if we can add that. So. Let's see what we have. 
up on you if we do that. Okay, like that. And it has something there. Alright, gives you the country's unit. Okay, let's repeat that for some other countries here. We have Kenya, I think there they use let's just say K Ken and then that of US I think that one is dollar sign so yeah I think in the case of Canada we have Canadian dollars I think yeah India I have no idea so I'm just gonna call it I am Philippines. I think that might be pesos or something like that. I don't know. Then we have Indonesia. I have no clue about Indonesia's currency exchange rate. So let's just say I N D. Alright. Okay guys. Oh there's one missing here. This is supposed to be undo that and there should be a plus sign here and here that's supposed to be Brazil we just call it BRA there okay those are the that's the currency converter taken care of so if we try it out now Click on that, select whatever country you want, enter how much you want to exchange. That is it right there. So that's fine. Now let's just need to push, add some space in there. Okay, let's go back into the code. So I just need a space here. Space, space, another one, and another one. Yep one here and here so that's fine okay so I think let's look at the exit that those are the lines of code for the exit you'll be prompt to confirm if you would like to exit the system so if I click now yeah just click on no you stay within the system if you click on yes that's what happened 